Today on Critics Talk, we talking spoiler cast for Spider-Man Far From Home. We talking Paul Rudd and Ghostbusters. And Samuel L. Jackson is joining the reboot of Saw. Hmm. Stay tuned. <laughs> Critics Talk, I am one of your hosts, Mix, alongside the one and only Clep. And today we're joined by Critics Music own Wade. What up, Wade? Buenos dias, amigos. Oh, with the, with the Spanglish. You know how we... I've been binging Narcos. How the Criticals doing today, bro? <laughs> How's everyone doing, bro? I'm good, I'm good. You know? Boiling out in this heat, bro. Yo, so hot. Middle of the summer, bro. It's been like 90 degrees yeah, like you know? every day. That's how we do. Might as well be in the Sahara out here, but we're not here to talk about that. Screw the weather. We're here to talk about this entertainment news, right? Mm. Um, Today we're breaking down... Full spoiler, Spider-Man Far From Home, the latest flick in the MCU. Talking that talk. Um, last week, we did a spoiler-free review, so if you haven't watched this movie, I recommend to go check that out before you listen to this, because, you know, we go in there. Yeah, catch up. Now, we all watch this film, right? Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yo. Three times. Three? Whoa. <laughs> when did you go again? Clef doesn't play. Uh, last Tuesday. He's like, he's like, I went on premiere night. I went on opening night. And then <laughs> yeah, I went like that. the other day because it was bro. like yeah. bargain Tuesdays. Yeah. Okay. So now, was, was now I feel like you might. All right. Now I'm comfortable talking about it with you. <laughs> yeah. No, this dude, yeah. uh, he's definitely the person to talk it out with because. It was like one of those he, nights I was just bored. And I was like, you yeah. know what? There wasn't really anything else to see. I don't really want to see you know, Nick Fogg. I just was like, yo, fuck it, I'm just going to see Spider-Man again. But also with that movie, what I've noticed is, is there's so much like culture shock with it. Like, not like more of like shock value, I think. Mm-hmm. Like, everybody's walking away from that. Like, it's the best Spider-Man ever. It's <laughs> it's one of the best Marvel yeah. films. And I'm like, eh, yeah, already you, we're you, giving you, it you that? You definitely pick up more things. Like, the more you see it, you'll pick up more things. Yeah. You'll, you'll see a little bit of things that could have done without, they could have did without, but... At the end, it's a solid Spider-Man movie. It's not the greatest movie, but it is a solid Spider-Man movie for the MCU. You know what? You are right about that, Wade, though, because I have been hearing a whole lot of hype about this movie. And don't get me wrong. I really like this movie. Mm. But people are coming out of there talking about it's Flawless. the best Marvel movie. And I, yeah. and it's not yes. best. Yeah, it's not. Yo, because it that. literally started as... The, right when it dropped, it was like, it's the best Spider-Man movie. Yeah. And that was like everywhere. Everybody was saying that. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, it started escalating like, is this the best Marvel? It's like, what? The yeah. b- Yo, it's not no even way. in my top no five, period. Is, it's not no e- way this is better than Infinity War And all. you know what? It's not even the best Spider-Man ever. Yeah, and like, and period. exactly what I was about to say. Like, I have issues giving this, like, the best Spider-Man. Yeah, no, no, no. Because I still not. love that second Raimi no. movie. It is. That's Shout the best. Doc Absolutely. Mm-hmm. This is the best franchise already, though, I would say. I'll give yeah. it that. Yeah. I'd say this already has the it's most the potential. Most solid. It's got, yes. And like you said, I don't know if you've dropped that bomb on here yet, but if they're really going for that that nine film. Yeah, drop, yeah. drop the bomb, yeah, Clep. Yo, um, yo can we drop some. Do, yeah. Do, yeah. yeah, drop the bomb. Do we have Funk a, Flex bombs? There was a rumor out there that they're going to drop nine films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe for Tom Holland. Uh, three take place in high school, three take place in college, and the other three take place as, a, as an adult. Which I'm okay, for. I'm okay with that, and I think that works. But they better have some very, very, very good fillers in between. All That's what, movies, yeah. You know so what wait, I mean? so. don't, don't, because I have heard the nine picture deal, uh-huh. but I, I heard that those also include the cameo. So mm. mo- movies where we already seen them, like Civil War, we seen them in both Avengers movies, Endgame and uh, Infinity War. So uh-huh. those are three of them right there. So basically, we gotten six out of them already. So you think that those, but, well, but, the, but the new deal is new, not nine new movies. Really? Yeah, yes. that's, wow. that's, that's the rumor. But I do agree with that. I feel like they are going to do like, like I was telling him, like how they did like Civil War is technically an installment to the Captain America right. franchise, but realistically it's just the Avengers like timeline. It is an Avengers. So I, I think they're, it's not going to be nine Spider-Man movies. It's going to be like, there's going to be like a Civil War type More movie where it's, movies. Everybody, but it'll be technically in his universe, which, which yeah. makes more sense because absolutely Spider Man is tied into a lot of different storylines, and that will give them an opportunity to bring in a lot of these bigger events. I think it's perfect, like yeah. Secret Wars and you know, things of that nature. So, you know what? Since we're talking about locking in this actor for such a long time, let's talk about the man himself. Let's talk about Tom Holland, right? Absolutely. Is he the best Spider Man? Has he been your favorite? Wait. So- it's it, see with me. It's like I see you guys aren't gonna get this reference, but like any of the sports fans at home, which there's probably none of you. It's like it's like how everyone compares Brady with like Manning, and it's like 
I think Peyton may have had the better numbers, but Brady had the better like uh, foundation. Mm, okay. So I think as far as like Tom Holland's foundation and his infrastructure, vastly better. Yeah, vastly okay. better. Spider Man was coming out of left field. The comic book movies weren't even a thing at that point. Like mm. he, they, they pretty much like started that whole thing. Pretty like, much, yeah. To the level that it's at now. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I think obviously he didn't have the best franchise because only two Who's of them that? were. Who's he? Toby, Toby and were. Raimi. Like yeah. two of those were good. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like the third one was trash. Yeah. And I've read that they wanted to, he wanted to make a fourth one, and they just didn't get the they didn't get it together in time, and they ended up Techn getting it. Technically, they made that fourth one because a lot of the plot is Homecoming. Oh really? Yeah, a lot of the story. You've seen some of that from Four. Mysterio was the villain. In okay. four, um, and there were a lot of a lot of uh, yeah, there were a lot of other elements that played a part in it before the rewrite. Mm. Um, so technically, that four has become home. Mm. That's that's that's, that's awesome. Dope. Yeah, that's really so. good. Club, how do you feel about Tom, man? I like Tom. He's my favorite Spider-Man, hands down. Really, yeah. over Toby already? I'm, you're gonna do Toby, Toby like just that? A lot older. Damn, we're doing Andrew really dirty right now, bro. Andrew, he I had the look. Me neither. I wasn't. Like, even though you know, I'm a Spider-Man fan, I thought the, the amazing Spider-Man title was enough to bring me in. But, I mean, it fell short. Yeah. It was okay. It wasn't. I'm, I don't even hate Amazing Spider-Man 2 like everyone else oh, does. Oh, I hate that one. I don't hate it as much as everyone else does. But I just still, I like Tom Holland because he's just younger. I like how they play with the genre of a teen movie. And they make it a teen movie, mm. but it's still a superhero movie. And it's a comedy. Still, yeah, it's still a teen like, movie. Is like, it, it's funny. Yeah. It's, really it's hilarious. Is. It's like it's like very Deadpool and, and, I and feel it's like comedy. He's perfect for it. He plays that role mm. well. Kids will relate to him. He looks young enough, so he's definitely like my favorite. And I want to see. I hope the stakes get risen more, like how they did in this one with you know the way he had to fight Mysterio. Mysterio was pretty much kicking his ass. Yeah. I want to see more of that because he's a flawed character. Spider-Man by no means is as perfect as any of the other heroes. He always gets his ass whooped. He always gets the short end of the stick, and I I can't wait to see that. Yo, going back to the the whole Andrew thing, Garfield. Mm -hmm. I've heard I've heard people describe him to me as he was just too cool to be Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. and I honestly like he wasn't like conflicted. You didn't believe it. Like yeah. Toby in in uh, to Holland, like it's like written on their face yeah, at all they're, times. They they're scared. That, like, that geeky quality. Yeah, right? even when things are going well, they got that look in their eye where like you can tell in the back of their mind they're thinking about this, that, and the third. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Garfield just felt way too comfortable in his role. Too like, confident. Yeah, like you're not. You're supposed to be a scared, shitless little kid that like yeah. is getting handed all this stuff <laughs> and you don't really know how to grasp it because you're a freaking teenager. Yeah. Like get, grasping the teenage years in itself is difficult. Yeah. So to have this superhero role and like you lose your your, your father figure and like you're getting sh like the shit is getting thrown at you and you, like you got to deal with it. Your balls need to drop faster than anyone else. And that's why I say Tom Holland he executes that perfectly because I feel like he is the perfect balance of what, you know, Toby was doing cuz we got a lot of that in Toby. We but did. they leaned a lot on the love story mm. versus his, you know, his yeah. overall having to deal with all this, you and know, that's, conflict. And that's and but, that well that that's what I was gonna say like, I felt like he got Toby got the shit out of the stick and, and honestly it's like it's like Kanye said it's like mm -hmm. the first one's over the mountain gets slayed like and then and then everyone is like oh we can go over the mountain now yeah but the first person had to go over there and get his ass kicked to yeah. be like yo we can go over here it's yeah. like I think Toby had to get those rocks thrown at him so that like Tom Holland could prosper yeah with but the like him breaking the mold of the like the comic book universe mm -hmm. and like really opening it up like yo. He deserves a lot of credit, bro. Oh, like, absolutely. And, and and his individual performance was, it was he he bodied it. Yeah. yeah. He just didn't like. Don't get me wrong. Raimi did a great job, but that third one it just was horrible. Yeah. R Raimi was the it, only one that kept it close to the cartoon. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, it, like, that third one really did leave a sour note oh. on everyone's like flavor oh. palette. Um, he was such on a roll. He really was. He really was. And like, I love Raimi as a filmmaker. You know, mm. like he went on to did. Uh, Drag Me to Hell, which is like a good one. yeah, he does a for lot of a PG thirteen. Yeah. It's just yeah, awesome. Evil Dead. Yeah. I saw that Evil he's Dead, like he's yeah. pretty pro horror. Yeah. So let's talk about uh, the the cast, right? The rest of the cast. I know we've already touched on this, but like, how do you guys feel about uh, Sam Jack coming back as Nick Fury, Maria Hill uh, coming back for this film, and then the the big spoiler at the end that it wasn't them the entire time. Were you guys fooled by this? Um, Wait. To be honest, like you guys know this stuff more than I do, so I obviously was not expecting that at all, yeah. at all. But I did feel like there was something off about Sam Jack. 
Like, there were things that he was saying that were like, what did he say at one point where he was just like, I know, I know he was the, like Sam Jack. Like, he wasn't like Nick Fury for a second. And yeah, I was like, yeah. he was swearing more than he usually was. And yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. he seen. I did say, he, like, he was a little off. Yeah. Absolutely. I didn't notice it with the girl at all. Yeah. Well, we quiet. don't see her much. She was a lot quieter yeah. than she normally. I mean, her and Nick usually. There's a little banter. Yeah, a little bit. Even in the first Avengers, they talk a little. Like, I mean, but I just. They did seem a little. Like, I, I didn't grasp it. I, did, I, no. didn't, I didn't guess it before, you know, the movie was over. Right. But, I mean. That post credit scene definitely sealed the deal. It's funny how, like, you you have done repeat watches on this. It probably changes a lot of the movie for you, knowing after the fact that, that. they've been re- replaced the entire time. Because now you're going and thinking about lines like when he's, when he's trying to recruit Spider-Man to go do this mission. Spider-Man's like, oh, I'm just a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. And he's like, bitch, you've been to space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When he like, said that, I was like, Nick Fury says that? Yeah. <laughs> like, I was like, ah, I don't know. Yeah, no, what I picked up on was like in the beginning when they did the opening scene with Mysterio and how they were at that place. And it kind of seemed like they weren't supposed to be there. Mm-hmm. Um, that was kind of a... Uh, like, a, a like when they first met the first, um, yeah, Mysterio, Eter- uh, right in the beginning, Eternal? the opening no. scene. No, no, yeah, when they met Mysterio, the ele- yeah. when they're dealing with the elementals, so the yeah, first yeah, elemental, yeah. Mm-hmm. when yeah. he's like, You don't want any part of this, yes, like when they get out of their car and they go to that place, uh, Maria Hill says something to him about, I don't even remember, and I should remember, but they said she says something in a sense where they shouldn't have been there, yeah, and he is kind of like, Well, you know, you want, they want to check it out, anyways, so that they're kind of like, you know kind of hints at wh- who, what's going on like but other than that that's like the only thing that you but i thought in general they played a really good big brother role because with the you know you're missing iron man so you have to have that kind of big brother over your shoulder i thought uh who's favorite's character is that L- lucky happy happy, happy. happy. yeah I-, I thought he was really good oh yeah oh, happy's the man he, i love him and and i hope they i hope them, they never get rid what's, of him i was good with the forever. happy and uh marissa tomei's yeah. ma relationship that was hilarious yeah, did, was. did we all love it i, I loved it i didn't hate it i didn't hate it at all i love it because yeah. they've been hinting at they hinted they were hinting yeah. at it in homecoming i love that it was a lot more serious for him than it is for her oh yeah that was hilarious <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, and I she that. was just like wait what i wait, thought this was like a dating? summer thing i like thing. that they didn't go with the obvious because everyone thought that tony was going to be the one and they didn't go yeah. with the obvious they went with happy and I, I like that i like that dynamic a lot it makes them more interesting uh quentin beck bro let's talk about gyllenhaal yeah how awesome was gyllenhaal like homies out here i mean listen we all love Gyllenhaal. Of course. Movies like Nightcrawler. The Johnny recent Velvet, Revo- uh, Velvet Chainsaw. Yes. How do you, uh, Bro, this dude's... I didn't like that, but I thought he did a really good job. He's in a role. He, he, he did a great job in that. And also, let's note that he was actually supposed to be the original Spider-Man. Remember? Yeah, he he was, was supposed to replace yeah, Toby. He was. He so was. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, so, for like the, it's like full what, circle yeah. for him. Like, now you're on the other side of it. You could have been... You know what I mean? So, I thought... Jalen Hall did better than I expected, to be completely honest. Because I'm always a little weary when they add like a big star to the Marvel universe. I'm like, all right, how's this gonna fit? Because I kind of like guys that are like, I haven't really like like Hall typecasted when, them like yet. when they brought in Hall. Yeah, they were like I haven't seen this guy. Yeah, anything. It was so. like like Affleck body Batman, but it was it was like yo, it's, it's, too, it's, it's, too, it's fucking too Affleck too right there. You know what I mean? I'm like, be like yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm like thinking about him like using animal crackers on this girl's tits and freaking <laughs> Armageddon. Like I'm not thinking that's Bruce Wayne. Like that's why I thought Bale was so good. So yeah. Yeah. Hall, I thought he 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 bodied it. But it was like I said to you, it wasn't so much the look because he looked incredible. Mm-hmm. Like, his powers were incredible. Mm -hmm. Everything that he put Spider-Man through was visually stunning and took you on a ride. Oh, absolutely. It was just his motives that bugged me. Mm -hmm. Because like I was telling you, like, I feel like that's something that Marvel hangs their hat on with their villains. Like, they do a really good job with, like, yeah, the villains aren't, like, outstanding and they're not as dark and, like, maniacal as DC villains. And obviously, like, Thanos is, like, broke the mold for Marvel. Mm -hmm. But, like, they always have a good, like, background and, like, you kind of get where they're coming from. Even Loki. Just like, the fight a little bit. Yeah, you're like, yeah. oh, I get it. This one, it was just like, really? <laughs> That's why you're here? Yeah. That's why you're doing all of this? Because you want to be like, come on. Like, it really doesn't really hit home unless you're, like I said, a fan of this MCU. Um, just be, just the callback alone to Civil War and seeing him on stage when Tony was talking about Barb. Oh, 
Oh, those were brutal. Like, but they're just like digitally adding him into these yeah, scenes, and he's like look, in the background, look, like someone like me. That's like that's like reading the comics. You know what I mean? That's like yeah. tying in. It's like bringing back a panel from yeah, like and, and, five years ago. It's like oh yes, it works. It works. It works. Like you know when they mean? brought but, back that scene from Iron Man One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah which yeah. is mm. how long? How Peter old Billingsley, now? Yeah. You know, it's crazy. And, to me, that's a payoff. And I can understand, but like, like the casual person will probably be like, who the hell are these people? What's going on? Being lost. But for the fans, that's fan service. It's crazy how you probably could ask Jeff Bridges if he knows he's in this movie. Know, and right? he's like, what? I'm in Spider-Man? Ask, ask <laughs> Tony if he's in this yeah, movie. Yeah, ask Tony. You know, like, it's just like, the, the, they're, they, they have history. Bro. And when they, like, when it, like, they revealed what it was, like when the revelation in the bar happened, it was like, I don't know. I, I felt deflated, and I felt a little bit of deflation yeah. from the over from the entire crowd, which was like a really good crowd. You guys, we were all there. Like, yeah. it was like rounds of applause mm -hmm. at like the key scenes. That scene, it just felt like the wind got taken out of it. Like, it was going so well, and then it was like, Sandy, you did great on the ones and twos, and Bobby, <laughs> yeah. wow, we couldn't have done this without you. It's like <laughs> now I gotta take this guy seriously as a yeah. villain. Like he's going around the room, and like I don't know. It's that, a it was a brain trust, right? Mysterio yeah. wasn't a guy. It was a, a team. A, a, yeah. It yeah. Was a, yeah. A committee of scorn Of smoke screen. Yeah. Of smoke screen. That's why I was like, yo, I like the stakes to be as high as possible. Mm. In these movies, like, I want to be scared. Mm. I always think back to when I watched The Dark Knight. I was, like, on the edge of my seat the whole time, like, the Joker had me like, what is this motherfucker gonna do next? <laughs> yeah. Like, bro, I was like, I was scared more scared than Bruce was. Yeah. Like, I was like, yo, like he's about to fuck our whole shit up. Like, yeah. and in this, it was just like, he's using cameras and special effects. Like, that's Mysterio though. Like, yeah, I mean, if you yeah. know, but he's Mysterio? like a magician though. No, he's, he's a, a he's special. A, he's effect. a magician. Dude, he's a special. He's a special bro, effect. I looked that shit up. No, he's right, a musician so. and. He's a special effects. Like on artist, movies. yeah. Special Not a musician, artist. a magician. Yeah, yeah. yeah. special effects artist on, on, on movies. And he loses his job because yeah, of Spider-Man or whatever. Because, like, he comes in because of Jay Jonna, right? Yeah. Like, it was like a whole... Yeah. Can I be honest with you? I've never been a fan of the, like, Edward Nigma like, too many questions. It's just too many questions. <laughs> what was the Marvel one where that happened with uh, Jamie Foxx? Where he yeah. was like oh, neglect yeah, in the yeah. beginning, and it's like I yeah. need to get him back. Yeah. It's like that is the Amazing worst Spider-Man too. That is the most played out like villain dynamic Trope, yeah. ever. I am so over that. And, like, and yeah. Marvel's better than that, bro. As far as we are into this universe, I feel like they took the easy way out with this villain. I'm sorry, really? and I think major points need to be reduced for it. I feel like this movie did not kill the villain, even though most people would assume yeah, that I, they I did. Was, I was concerned. Yeah, I feel yeah. like we will see more but, but Mysterio. That's, but that's because we were expecting the twist. A lot of people weren't expecting Yeah, that. I was not expecting that twist we, whatsoever. We, me and Clev talked about the twist a while yeah. back. Like, he already knew that the Elementals were fake. Yeah, I Elementals, like, I, I, thought, I went in there knowing, like, this is Mysterio's, this, uh, this is his play. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To get everybody thinking, oh, look at this. And well, I, it's misdirection. That's what I'm interested in. But this does. is what I always got to, like, remind you guys of. of that like, not everybody knows this. You guys are 50%. Oh, yeah, more yeah, yeah, than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. More than that. Yeah, we are. We walk in there 80, 85% yeah, of like. They're doing, they're doing a billion. We know what we week, expect. Bro. No, yeah. but I'm saying like the casual fan is the majority. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Bro, and I'm in tune, more in tune than most casual fans, especially in this department. Mm -hmm. And like, bro, I had no. I was like, oh, he's the next Iron Man. He put the shades on. I was oh, like, shit. he looks as good as Downey does it. Like, they, it, they, it, they it, got weight. They, your bro, they, they got, got me. <laughs> they got me. Like, <laughs> I was invested, bro. I went in there like. I want to know how he turned. And when he turned, I, it got like, I was like, oh shit, this is dope. Yeah. And then when he went around the room and just thanked everybody for 10 minutes, bro, it just deflated the whole shit. <laughs> the <laughs> stakes were completely lowered at that point. Well, I mean, they had to change the origin a lot. Like they couldn't have said that this one man was doing it alone. Because like you said, he's a special effects artist, magician. Like, yeah, one person can never pull that type yeah, of... Uh, this, type of uh, just to, to be realistic, you could, he couldn't do this by himself. No. So we had a team, a team which works for Tony. And I like the fact that they're using Tony's demons to bring more stories. Once again. Like, he's gone, but now it's like... You didn't like that at first. No, I did like that. No, I, you hated it. You were like, I hate that they keep using Iron no, no, Man no, like in the I, story. I hate that they kept... Referencing to yeah, the references were just getting showing him, little but he was a big, he's a big deal. Zombie Iron yeah. Man, and you know, also like, I think they're just trying to like, like 
communicate the fact that like the mantle is there to be taken yeah. and it's a big fucking mantle. It's a huge mantle. Like yeah, they're it's the biggest. Playing, they're definitely playing that up. Yeah, they are definitely playing. And that's why I think what you're saying that about the nine films in this is it's gonna work. Yeah, it's I might be, it might because work out. he's the new Iron Man, so he's the new face of anything. Anything that's happening, he needs to be involved or at the forefront of it. I yeah. just hope that this marriage between Disney and Sony continues, and that you know we don't get like, just don't fuck up Deadpool. Three more good movies, and then. They decide to like part ways over creative differences. Like, let Marvel do what they're doing, Sony. Please, you guys just keep cutting the check because you're seeing you're seeing the residual. You're seeing it. Oh, absolutely. And I just hope that this continues. How yeah. much money has this movie made so far? Uh, have they crossed that belly line? Um, I don't know, but I know that their opening weekend was supposedly bigger than Infinity War. Mm. Wow. So, and but wow. I mean, the movie's premiered on a Tuesday. So, yo, let's take uh, it. Let's take it all the way to the middle. End credit scene. Mm, Let's talk favorite. about that big reveal, right? My, we my get favorite. the comeback of J. Jonah Jameson himself, Epic. played by J.K. Rowling, right? Coming back from one of your favorites from the original Spider-Man. Wait, Toby. J.K. Rowling? J.K. Simmons. Yeah, J.K. Simmons. My bad. Yeah. I was like, Rowling. holy shit, don't she's yo, a man she's now. A, yo, she. <laughs> don't, oh, don't feel shit. bad. Kevin Smith did the same thing. Hey, why not? There, <laughs> two. Fa- there's only two famous J.K.s, bro. Yeah. So, hey, no, but for real, we got J.K. Simmons mm-hmm. back in his uh, role of Jay Jonah. No, that was iconic. And, Bro, what? And you know the cool thing about this scene, right? We've seen this scene a lot of times. This was the scene that they kept showing online. There were, like, images of MJ and Spider-Man mm-hmm. in his new suit. And the whole Flying time, to the city. We're thinking that this is part of the movie. When in fact it was the post, the post credit. Post credit. And that's why Marvel just got it figured out, bro. A million times. Yo, but like, let's break it down. Like, no more Spider-Man and secret identity, right? Like, mm-hmm. he was the one person, the whole MCU that still had a secret identity. Mm. That is poof gone. What do you think gonna be the repercussions? The the how how is this gonna affect future films? Blake? It's gonna kill it. because it, now they can turn a whole new corner. They don't have to hide behind the curtain. It's like, you're like basic. It's like, Doug, it's like the Wizard of Oz. And now they don't got to hide behind the fucking, um, the curtain anymore. Yeah. Like now the curtain is exposed. And now, because bro, I feel like that's difficult as a writer. Yeah. You have to kind of dance around that a little bit. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, oh, okay. Like, well, we can't do that because then it's going to, it's going to expose them. It's like now it's unlimited. Now you can do whatever you want. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to lie. I was a little bothered by it, but at the same time, I loved it. I thought that the way that they did it, was worth the wow. Mm-hmm. Like, the holy shit. Like, we didn't expect it. Um, I I kind of like the secret identity thing. It kind of, it's the part, it's that thing that makes your little kids feel like being superheroes. Right. Anybody could be him. Yeah, to play around with secret identities and stuff like that. But it's cool. I think it's cool. Maybe they're going to set us up for miles later down the road. Yeah, Clep, I wanted to go there since you're like the, the more, out of all of us, you're definitely the more uh, comic uh, person that's you know that's why I think these things hurt him more. Any storyline <laughs> specifically that you feel like where they could go? Anything you might want to see? Um, honestly, like because there really isn't. A, there is a little bit of a storyline where his secret identity gets out there, but he it's a little too magical. Yeah. Um, Doctor Strange comes in and, and like Adam reverses. Webb, yeah, Webb, it's wild. It's, I don't see that ever be becoming something that happens. Maybe Doctor Strange. Wait, 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 wait. So what you're saying? He's gonna come in and like put a spell on everybody so they forget. Pretty much. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's what it ends up happening. What they like the M and Men in Black. Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty they much. Like. They I should. Know. They might as well just do the crossover and have Hemsworth pop in and just like snap. Oh no, it. no, no. <laughs> keep keep Hemsworth. If he's not Thor, I don't. I don't I'm done so I mean, but here's a good thing. Like I'm okay with it. Because, like you said, it shakes things up. Yeah. It breaks the monotony. It breaks, you know, redundance. I have no idea where Marvel's going after this. Like, and that's why I love it. Like, at all. Because you like, guys were predicting this whole movie step by step. Yeah, you know what I mean? And, like, now it's like, it's like a dangle. Like, we got Spider-Man hanging over here, and then we still got a whole bunch of other properties that are coming, and we have no idea what they're going to be like. We got Black Widow. We got Eternals. Like, we don't know what they're going to be. And now it's like the one property that everyone thinks they know, we can't even guess. And yeah. that's why I love it because it's like, it's like what we talked about after uh, Batman vs Superman, how they did that opening scene of like his parents dying again. It's like, mm. yo, we've seen it a million times. You know what yeah. I mean? They could have completely did without that. Mm-hmm. And like, I know you were upset when he didn't have an Uncle Ben in the first in Homecoming. Yeah, because yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of the source material. And that's when I told you, what did I say? 
they're gonna use Tony. That's gonna be Tony. That's yeah. gonna be the Uncle Ben, and, he, yeah. and they're still gonna hit he, it with he, that he dynamic. Yeah, yeah, because they, they eventually killed him. And it's like <laughs> I think we're at the point now where we gotta mourn him. And we're at the point where I think we realize that this franchise is gonna like it's it's throwing the middle finger at a lot of like at a lot of the things that were staples in this franchise yeah. before. And they're mixing it up, which like I love MJ. it. Even like MJ, exactly. Yeah, MJ like, works. dude, they're, they're and, and and it's all have has worked. The MJ, Tony, the Tony Matt, dynamic. Let's talk, Everybody. Let's talk about that one scene that really kind of stuck in my head. Talk, and I, and talk maybe, about maybe it. People didn't really break it down like I brought it, but when it, when it was almost over, and Preach. at the at the at the airport, and they show them hold hands, like I feel like that is so powerful. I felt like that one scene kind of like told everybody who had a problem to shut the fuck up. Right. Because it's like. Brown and white. It works. No, if it works. It works. It, it works. Works. And it mm-hmm. works. And it's like their chemistry on screen. Oh, pff, I was just about to get into that. Incredible. Bro, yeah. it like, is so much more deeper and organic than him and, and uh, Toby, Toby and. and uh, uh, yeah. Bro, it's so much deeper. Like, you want it's it better, to happen. Better than, you know, Garfield and, uh, oh, bro, everything like, in that franchise is the worst. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, so I, I, I like what. Even, though, even though they were a couple in real life. I know, right? They had that no probably is what made it so bad. No yeah. on-screen chemistry. Yeah. And you guys were banging in real life. Yeah, like that makes no <laughs> sense. So I Life. Think, Hollywood I like what, couples for I you. I like what Disney and Marvel are doing with this this interracial thing with this couple. It definitely breaks down barriers. It definitely just works. Like It does. Effortlessly. And also, it makes it more inclusive. Yeah. That's what we need, bro. Like, And especially in the comic book world, this is everywhere now. Mm. This is not a niche market. This is the market. Yeah. If you're making movies, this is it. Yeah. So they need to be at the forefront of these types of like decisions and these changes. Yeah. You know what, what I mean? What, what they may even do is we may even see the the Miles and Gwen Stacy relationship because that that's in the comic Why not? As well. So you know, what I, mean? I I would like to see more of that. It, I think it I think it works. Listen, if this nine picture movie is a uh, a, a real thing, we're gonna see a whole lot more of Tom Holland Spider Man. We're happy about it. We love this film. Pumped. And uh, we can't wait to see more. Yeah. Did we miss anything? I mean, we talked about the plot. We talked about the villains. We talked about Tom. We talked about the future. But we really didn't get in depth on that second post credit scene. Talk about it. So, as for those of you who've seen it, um, the end of this, the the end of the film ends with another post credit scene after the credits, where it shows Samuel L. Jackson, Nick Fury, and Maria Hill, uh, Colby. Bro, I was vexed. Mothers, mothers. I was vexed. Molders. You didn't like it. I, no, it's not that I didn't like it. I was so lost. Yeah. Uh, also, I didn't see Captain Marvel. Yeah, exactly. So, bro, that, I was like, like, I was literally in outer space. Yeah, like, you, I was like, what the fuck yeah, is going you on? Need to see Captain Marvel. These movies build on. on each other. Well, okay, you either have to see Captain Marvel or you have to know the Marvel comic universe, because everyone that knows the Marvel comic universe knows the scrolls and the scrolls. Nick Fury and Mar- Mar- Maria Hill, they turn into scrolls from Captain Marvel. Talos and his wife. Yep. Um, so the whole time, the whole entire movie, it was never Nick Fury. It was never Maria Hill. Um, I love that. Yeah, I thought it was great. And the reason I love that is because now it opens doors for who else it, it, yeah. on mm-hmm. Earth is a scroll. Mm. Or or Kree, for that matter. Yeah. Because yeah. if the scrolls are here, the Kree are, yeah. are near as well. The Kree look more like Terran than anything. They look like us. Yeah, I mean, they could look like us because, you know, you see um, Homie from... Um, Guardians of the Galaxy. He was a black um, Kree, so like yeah. Kree comes in all colors, bro. Yeah. They might be orange. I like that. Yeah, they might be black. They might be white. You know, they do look like Terrans, except you know their ears are a little pointy. So, so yeah. So I'm very excited to see like, and and I hope this plays a big part with, with people that we think we've lost. Yeah. Um, so Nick Fury's been up in space the whole time, watching down. Who knows? He could have sent some sleeper cells. Yeah, mm-hmm. how long have the to Stark? Scroll, have they yeah. been here since Stark, the nineties? Think about it. Yeah. Like Captain Marvel happened in the nineties, meaning how long has Nick Fury been a replacement? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Could have been this whole time. Yeah, he could have been He was on that beach the whole time? Probably. Yeah. God damn. Probably. Like he could have knew about the threat before it happened. Bro, that's he goals. He knew about Infinity War before it actually happened because he's been up in space. Remember in the Ages of Shield there was an episode when they knew Thanos was coming. Yeah, bro, but I, I'm, I'm I, so over TV uh, yeah, and but it, it, Marvel. It was, it was mentioned. Yeah. Thanos was mentioned, and they knew he was coming yeah. to Earth. So, but we all knew that was coming eventually. Yeah, but I mean, people in space knew. They knew that something was going to happen. Mm. And it showed that in the show, and it showed, you know what I mean? So we don't know how long Nick Fury's known about this. Nick Fury could have known about this for forever. Remember, he, you know? 
I'm super, super excited. I'm super excited for this franchise, and I hope that they don't continue to move at a glacial pace moving forward. Because I felt like this one, I feel like they really. I think they made the decision after Homecoming, like, all right, we're doing nine movies. Mm. Let's reel it back in. Let's save some of the good guys, some of the good villains for three, four, five, or like, you know what I mean? And it's like, I just felt like they really played it safe in this movie. Yeah, they definitely are saving a lot of their big guns. And you I know, don't like I, that. Apart from but Batman, Spider-Man has like the best villains gallery. So, yeah, you know, I, I do want to see a whole lot but more of everybody else Spider that we've been missing. as well, like Kingpin. Yeah. We all know he's a daredevil villain, but he also is the one that starts the Sinister Six. Mm -hmm. So they share villains yeah. every once in a while. But like, I, I want to see a return of Vulture. I want to see a return of uh, yeah, that too. Uh, a Mando's uh, Scorpion. I want to see him because we already seen a little bit of him. I want to see Moral Mysterio and then introduction of you know the classics, Green Goblin. And, and who did Vulture link up with in prison after at the end of Scorpion? Scorpion. Scor yeah, so Scorpio. Uh, and that's who I thought Scorpion. was coming next. Scorpio. And on top of that, his daughter like wasn't even in this movie. Yeah, no, she, she was like she his gone. complete love interest, and well, then she, she just yeah, she moved, she gone. At the end of the you know how it is, bro. You know, you like Cleveland or something. Oh yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, Why yeah. does everybody move to Cleveland in these movies? Because the high overall. No one actually moves to Cleveland in real life. I'm sorry, <laughs> I, we love you, Cleveland. I don't, I don't even remember. I could be making that up, but I just know she did. She move. did move. I don't she, know. Because like, no, because I, I remember there was a line talking about. Our fa father wants us away from the trial. Yeah. He doesn't want us here. For the record, critics loves Cleveland. Cleveland rocks. <laughs> Cleveland does rock. At Listen, least that's what Drew Carey show used to I say, like, right? Oh. I like Cleveland because of Howard the Duck. And and LeBron James. Cleveland. LeBron James. Cleveland. Yo, let's move on. Let's stick with Sam Jack. It's been rumored and now confirmed, Clep, that yeah. Sam Jack's going to be taking part and a reboot, or is it a continuation of the Saw franchise? Do you know the Saw movies? I am, I'm way? familiar. I think I tapped out at like four. Everybody did. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Everybody yeah. did. I know there was like nine or something I like that, but I don't think I made it past a handful Yo, let of me, them. Let me give you a new premise. This new Saw franchise, or a reboot, whatever you want to call it, is going to be produced by the one and only Chris Rock. Yeah, yeah that's right. I did not mis misspoke. Chris Rock, the comedian, bro. What? Well... To be, to be like we were just talking about yeah. that I think we're moving into an era where like I felt like the 90s were like comedians were trying their luck at like horror yeah is like actors mm -hmm. and I feel like we're now in the era where like we've seen it like how many times like Adam McKay yeah uh who's doing the new Joker that's uh, uh Todd Phillips, Todd Phillips. Phillips. Yeah. now you got the, there was another one that I was thinking of too like we're Jordan moving into Peele, that, Jordan Peele like yeah. we're moving into that era where it's like why not? Yeah. yeah. Let's take people out of the box. Right? Yes. It, 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 bro, John Favreau. Yeah. 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 I think he really set the tone for that because it's like he went from swingers and what was the one with Puffy and uh, um, Maid? 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 Oh, yeah. Yo, he mm -hmm. went from those like, you know, like the dick director. and fart. Like, no, let's not knock down swingers. Swingers actually had like a lot of no, nuance. No, swingers is dope. Had a lot of nuance to it. But it was like a, but it was a comedy. It is a comedy. He went from that. Now he's doing Lion King. Yeah. Like in live action. Yeah. Like, Heavy lifting, directing. Not only that, stuff. I mean, he did Iron Man. He did yeah, Iron yeah, Man. Yeah, he started all of this yeah, shit. Like, a, him and Robert Downey Jr. are responsible for the MCU. Uh, no, literally, those two, and obviously, you know, Stan yeah. Lee. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. But like, but like, yeah. Clep, how do you feel about Sam Jack and Chris Rock joining forces to put together to maybe bring back from the dead this franchise? I'm curious, only because, like. Here's the thing. When Saw first came out, the magic behind that movie was that it was a low-budget film mm -hmm. and it was just well-written. The twist at the end the is twist. what sold Everybody that loves movie. it. That's what everybody... We didn't care how much it was made, it, yeah. it took to make this movie. We didn't care who was in the movie, even though they tried to you know, put Donnie Wahlberg in the movie. But mm -hmm. I like the writing of that movie. Now, this one is like going to be star-studded. I don't know how. Well, who else is attached well, to this I mean, film, dude? I mean, Samuel, you don't get any bigger than that. Yeah, no. <laughs> and, and also with that, with the with the original, like the original uh, Saw series, it was like that was the era where everything was so predictable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that twist, like now we're in, I think we're living in the era of twists. You almost have to play things by the books to be surprising now, because mm -hmm. people are like expecting they the do twist. Expect it. Mm -hmm. But 
Do, do we know the dynamics? Like who's playing? Like what's Sam no, playing? Is he? Is he? He's new. I think. Yeah. It's, it's, a re- it's a complete reboot. Mm. Um, I don't think it's gonna follow any of the original storyline. I mean, it probably have similar like premise, but it's definitely a whole new. But Lionsgate is still attached. Yeah. Uh, Chris Rock is in jail. We got Marisol Nichols who's attached, and then we have Max uh, Mighella Mc- Mc- mm. who's okay. attached. I'm not familiar. I'm not. But uh, they're attached. See, my issue with this um, reboot is that it hasn't been that long since we got a Saw movie. Um, um, we got Jigsaw and, not too long ago. And I That's honestly, true. I think I think Rock is in this movie. Oh, he's also starring. Yeah, because I think the rumor is Samuel L. is supposed to play his dad. Are we gonna see like a comedy what? take on yeah. this? Definitely not. I hope not. I, I don't mean, think it's so. Saw, dude, that was like the franchise that made its core. turn. Yeah, it's yeah, torture yeah. porn. I mean, like, that was the one. You know, well, it was like I was telling Keith at the end of the day, there's certain people in the industry that I trust. Mm. And I know a lot of people don't feel this way about Chris Rock for whatever right. reason. Mm. But I trust Chris Rock. Listen, if you don't trust Chris Rock, go and watch Top 5 right now. That's Yo, a great yes. Movie, yeah, bro. And he directed Thank you. That. He started Thank that. you. He wrote that. Yeah. That's a great movie. Well, I remember I called Keith right after I watched that yeah. and was like, bro, Chris Rock is fucking back. Yeah. Like it was like classic Chris Rock it and is. it was so effortless. Like it was like he... And the cast was just It was perfect, perfect yeah, bro. Yeah. Bro, at the end of the day, like I trust Chris Rock. I think I think they wouldn't be going in this route if they didn't have an idea of what they're doing and, and that it was a really good idea. And I yeah. think he pursued this, so he he must have something for it, you know what I'm saying? Stay yeah. tuned. Yo, let's move on to something that's definitely gonna be a comedy, which is the newest uh, sequel to Ghostbusters, starting the one and only Ooh. Ant-Man himself, Paul Rudd. Well, he's just an add-on. We don't know who's really going to be the front man of this thing, but I'm curious, and I can't wait. Because- Listen, if you need a face for this movie specifically, you can't do much better than Paul Rudd, especially Listen, right that now. That is true. I honestly think that they need to go back and bring, bring out the... That crew. Oh, that, I think they will whole, be. In this, they'll do that. that they'll do that. Crew. They'll do that. that whole Apatow crew. If Paul oh, Rudd is I alive, was gonna say that. I was like, I was thinking the same thing. I think Rogan's gonna be in it. I think it's gonna be that crew. Yeah. Because they're perfect for they it. Were supposed to they're be like nerdies. Was, Maybe not cool Franco, man. but I think. Uh, that was, oh man, Franco who's homeboy from uh, forgetting Sarah Marshall? I think he he, he, he Yo, has to be in it. I think he he has to be um, in it. I know. It we were just me. trying to come up with it. It escapes right me. We apologize because that movie is Fred's Fred. Yes. Siegel. Jason Siegel. Jason Siegel. Jason Siegel. Jason Siegel. Jason Siegel. Jason Siegel. Yo, Shout you out. said Fred Siegel, but yeah, that's yeah. somebody too, though. That is somebody. Shout out to Fred Siegel. <laughs> Shout out to both the Siegel brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I think Fred Siegel's like a clothing line. Shout out to <laughs> Beanie Siegel, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Shout out all the Siegels out there. Broad Street Bully. Shout out to Seagulls at the beach. Like, all the Seagulls, bro. Like, <laughs> yo, but for real, What's though, that Seagulls name from Little Mermaid? Shout out to him. <laughs> yo, shout out. Yo, facts. They gonna recast him, too, as Asian. Oh, man. Just too far. Anyways, yo. <laughs> they're, gonna um, a, they're gonna make him a bluebird. <laughs> they're, gonna, they're gonna recast the Seagulls. He's not gonna a be a seagull. He's just gonna be a pigeon, and you're gonna like it. <laughs> uh, yo, no, but for real, though. Paul Rudd, Ghostbusters. After the last Ghostbuster film that we got, which was that female oriented, I need redemption. Are, are people just gonna forget that? And yes. Like, let's not mention. I think they already again. have forgot it. <laughs> no offense to anyone in that movie. Clep, you were the biggest fan of this movie that I've ever met. Like, of how do you the, feel? But it was not my cup of tea. Of the reboot. Of the reboot. Yes. Yeah. Um, and you, you didn't this. like it. Well, of the the, new, the female. Yeah, one? Melissa McCarthy. Okay, so. And, I that crew. I don't think it's a great movie. I don't think it's a bad movie. Shout out because they filmed it in a backyard. But I think that if they played with alternate universes, I would thoroughly enjoy this movie completely. Mm. Because I, they had all the original Ghostbusters in it, but they weren't themselves. So you're saying this new movie coming out with Paul Rudd, it's the actual sequel to Ghostbusters. The original. 2? Yep, the original Ghostbusters. So this is Ghostbusters 3 from the original. Um, and like I said, I, I didn't I didn't have a problem with the all female one. I thought it was a little bit funny. Two I, questions for that movie. One, yeah. was it better than the original Absolutely franchise? Not. Okay. And two, was it a new, fresh take on it that also works? Uh, say of, what you want to say. Kind of, yeah. You think so? Yeah. And that's why I said the one thing that would really save it is if they linked it. Mm. Because people didn't want a new Ghostbusters. Mm. No matter how good it was, everyone was going to shit on it. Just think if it was the only one that ever was invented, you'd be like, it wasn't terrible, yeah. but it wasn't, it didn't live up to the, 
the, the fucking no. original. Like, come on. And it had a you great cast. They couldn't have casted that any better, to be honest. Every female in the industry that was hot. And, like, as good at writing Kate and as funny. Come on. They were in that. Yeah, so, so Leslie, I don't take anything from now. it. I just think that it should not stand alone. It should respect the original. And so, like, what Men in Black's doing? Yes. Because mm. at least, okay. think about it. If yeah, that yeah, yeah. was a reboot, mm. we'd be shitting all over it. Did you like Men in Black? I loved it. Yeah, mm. but we would be shitting all I, over you it. Said, he it. said you didn't like it. I did not. Yeah, he did. But I feel like you're not a huge fan of Hemsworth for some reason. Oh, I do. Because you hated Thor, He's too. Also, no, no, no. He's awesome ass Thor. When he plays anything in any other movie, he's like... What was that movie where, like, the world's ending and there was, like, a... like a And he it was, like, kind of the kids in the neighborhood and he was, like, the leader of it. It was almost like the outsiders a little bit. He was I, he was younger. No, I saw it recently. No, it's that like... That was a good one. But it's yeah. like some Armageddon-type shit where, like, the world's ending. There's, like... like uh, I forget how... It was, like, the dynamic of it. I watched it a few months back and I was like, holy shit, he's actually pretty good in Listen, this. you find me a, a movie in which... Oh, wait. Oh, Men talk- in Black was hilarious. Oh, wait. Are you talking about, like, um... Red Dawn? Yes. I believe that's oh, what it was. Yes, it was Red Dawn. Yes. And that he was solid. Was I th- and I thought you he was watched a, the original. That's a remake. The original is a yeah. hundred times better, bro. Times better. But like there he's young and like I like I thought it was young. really good for like Bro, no. Alright, shit. Nah, you're just you you're you're talking about a shit movie made from a good movie. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, no. But let me tell you guys this, though. We have a casting list for the new Ghostbusters. Break it down, Clep. Right now, we have Finn Wolfhard, which is Mike Wheeler. Okay. Oh, I like that. Uh, we have Ann Potts, who plays Janine, the original. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, the, uh, She's coming back. Receptionist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's coming back. Then we have Bill Murray. We have Dan Aykroyd. Damn. And, oh, so they are bringing the original cast. And Sigourney Weaver. Oh, wow. All right. I yeah, like I love this. it. Yeah. I like this. So, what about Homeboy from uh, uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? Rick Moranis is not signed on yet, but he... They was, need to get him. Well, here's the thing. I think he's going to be the cherry on top because he retired Yeah, he's ago. not. He doesn't act. He retired years ago. Mm. So for him to come out of retirement for this will be... It'll be fitting, huge. though. It'll be huge. He yeah. will forever be Barney Barney from the Flintstones for me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you took his worst little piece. Damn. Like his... Hey, it is what it is, bro. <laughs> he had the voice down. Him and John Goodman, bro. Yabba dabba do. He will always Yo, imagine be, shooting uh, that. Zolinkis. Oh, honey, yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. He, that, that's that's who he is. I mean, or Seymour Crowborn. Yo, but getting back to from Ghostbusters, though. The Little Shop of Horrors. That's kind of what I always kind of yeah. remember him from. This movie's being directed by the son of the original director. Love right, it. Clep? Yes. So Ivan Ratman's son. Uh, Jesus, his name escapes me. So it's like a pa- a passion project, isn't it? Yeah. He um, Apparently, there was always a script that was always already written, and it just never got greenlit, but then they ended up getting Sounds like Hollywood. Lit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jason Ratman, that's his name. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so he's taking the, the, the reins of this, and his dad's producing, and I think it's in great hands. And I honestly, I got to tell you, I people are so tied up, like all bent out of shape about, you know, even the females from the reboot are saying that it's kind of a slap in the face to them because they feel like that no one's appreciating the all female cast version. But I'm telling you, because no one liked it. If Yo, you but, just but, link the two with an alternate universe thing, because there is an alternate universe story within Ghostbusters in the comic books, the video game. Bro, but outside of that, like, when did that come out? 2016? A couple years ago, yeah. yeah if, if people aren't appreciating it by now, I don't think this this new movie is ruining that. Oh, it could. I think mm. I think it could if, if bro at this point it's like even Clerks was like had grew, grew a life of its own at this point mm. three years in people are either liking it or they're not like Scarface was already po- like all right I maybe honestly think like if decades, these females still, if these no. females showed up in this movie it would not hurt them at all no it would no. be like oh shit wow they are connected I'm gonna go to the next I one. can tell you that them yeah. going to the media and sounding like sour grapes is not yeah, gonna that help was, that that was a bad look that's and not gonna help their of, case it was only a couple of them but I mean yeah that was a that was a bad look. But. Like if I'm the studio, I'm 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 not gonna take that and be like rewarded by mm-hmm. putting them in the movie. Yeah. Now the studio for this movie is uh, clap. I don't honestly I don't know who's attached to this. Um, I'm I thinking it's know. Warner Brothers. I think so. Who's I think original? they owned it. And, and another thing that they're launching pretty soon is a new streaming service. They're partnering up with HBO. Yeah, HBO is putting out a third streaming service, y'all. It's not HBO Go. For people that already have it through their um, cable provider, mm-hmm. it's not HBO now. For people that just want to pay for HBO, bro, it's for people that want HBO plus a few other things because they're gonna put things like uh, 
the new Batwoman show coming for CW. No one cares. Exclusive to that. No one cares. Bro, I literally feel like like department stores are gonna start like starting streaming services. Macy's streaming service. Macy's. <laughs> we're about to get news that like Home Depot is just uh, just jump started their Yo, streaming Clep, service. Maybe critics should just start a streaming service. Ooh. Yo, Clep, the finish line just started. <laughs> yeah, like yo, service. Foot Locker just yeah. dropped its new streaming service. Hot topic. Yeah, like. Yeah, you guys gotta chill, man. Like, listen, everything is a la carte, and I'm good. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna have Netflix, Hulu, HBO, uh, Showtime. It's too much. Like, no, it's way too much. First of all, there was a time when we would get all these channels in a package. Now we're getting each channel in its own streaming service. Like, how does it even make any sense? It does. Like, and now they're pulling. They pulled Friends. Yep. Yeah. And they pulled the Office. The Office, which are aren't they? Weren't they both on the same network? Oh, they were both on Netflix. Here's what it well, is. no, no, no. The original network. Oh, and they NBC. Were on NBC. Oh, so guess what? NBC is about to drop its new streaming yeah. service. Like, oh, they are. Wait for it. That's why they. You know how much money they have to pay to take. That's the what I'm office saying. Like, off? it was millions of dollars. For them bro. to pull that, you already know they're coming with a streaming. They service. They had to break out of a contract and they had to pay millions of dollars Here's to what Netflix. Happened. This whole streaming idea should have been patented. Mm. Format streaming format. Well, it's the same thing that happened with iTunes. Should have been patented. Yeah. Um, because now it's like it's the dumbest shit in the world that everyone. That the fact that these studios think this is America. That everyone is going to buy every you're losing half of your market. Mm -hmm. This is America. Yeah, I know, but they're losing half of their market because yeah, you'll have diehard people who will say, you know what, I'm gonna fuck with CBS All Access. Yeah, and then you're gonna have a bunch of people say, I don't really give a shit. That's me. Like I love some of their shows they have on there, yeah, but like, I can't. I can't in gold conscience. Bro, as long as it's America, there's going to be a Shake Shack. There's going to be a Burger King. There's going to be a Wendy's. There's going to be a McDonald's. They're going to be a, the, a yeah, five guys. Like It's not different. You go to the bread aisle. There's a hundred different breads by like 12 different brands. You know what? I don't That's what it's going to be. I look at the one that I like how it looks. I don't read any You're not supposed labels. to judge books by its cover. Class. I know, but I don't go into the bread aisle and be like, mm, let me buy this brand. You'd be Wonder. surprised. A lot of people are very brand oriented. You know, actually, you know what else yeah, I'd be you buying. I used to exclusively you know, drink Pepsi, you know and I wouldn't I touch Coca-Cola. I buy the longest loaf for the cheapest price. That's what I buy. And that's what people are going to do in any market. So here's the thing. What is the cheapest price they can put on the streaming service that will make it? Disney's got that. Locked. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like They're with so much competition content. with Netflix oh, yeah. and and Disney's Amazon and Disney and now how HBO much is Disney going to be? Six ninety nine. Ooh. How much yeah, but bro, you know what they're gonna do. You already know what they're gonna do exactly what Netflix did. Yeah. They're gonna do exactly what JetBlue did. They gonna they're gonna do exactly what anyone does in. when they're they're gonna pull you in at that six ninety nine. They're gonna get you hooked. Yeah. And when you're hooked, they're gonna be like, guess what? It's ten ninety nine. Not that bad, it's only up three ninety nine. Two years later, it's going to be twelve ninety nine, well, and you're going to be like, "Well, I'm already sixteen ninety nine, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like, but you and you're so free, invested. You got T-Mobile. True, <laughs> true. But T-Mobile's paying that bill. Don't get it twisted. They like, are, and you want to know out of their pocket. A lot of the, a lot of what they're doing is I mean, this is very smart because Hulu now is teamed up with Spotify. So now for nine ninety nine, you get both Hulu. And mm, that's the I best deal. That's the best deal. I have that. So here's the thing, because like. Hulu and Disney used to be in bed together mm -hmm. with Hulu, right? Like Disney, Fox, and I think NBC started Hulu together. Yep. So now that Disney's pulling out its content, and NBC's probably going to do the same eventually, mm -hmm. man, what is going to... Like, these are just going to be skeleton streaming services with barely any content. Like, what? how much would you pay this HBO service? I wouldn't. I no, wouldn't. But, like, what's the price that would make you be like, hey, it's $4. Wait, so I'm confused. Is this, like... I wouldn't at all. It's is it like backwards combat? Like, is it going to be like a? I don't need HBO Go. I can yeah, get you this don't one. Need HBO Go. And it's you'll get everything that's on HBO. It's Go. Okay. Include everything so if I get HBO this, I'll get Sopranos. I'll get like yes. Entourage. Okay, good. Yeah. Got it. All that's not comments. bad. It's not bad, but like, what's eh. an attractive price? Though? Yeah. What's the difference though? That's my question. Mm -hmm. Like, listen, Netflix has a head start on all of these guys because their original content is selling it. Yeah. We don't give a fuck about any of the older shit that's on Netflix. We go there for the one hundred percent content. Right. The no one else has that unlocked. And that's not hard, though. There's script. There's so many scripts that have just been sitting around for years that you just got to grab it. Well, well, I got you right and now. And you got a new... Like, I got you right but, now. But Listen to I my guarantee Stranger Things was sitting on someone's desk for, like, but years before thing, it came Netflix to Netflix. is the simplest. Like, think about it. I'm not right now. going out of my way to go to CBS. I agree. Access. I'm not going out of my way. I, w I barely went out of my way for Hulu. Yeah. Barely. But what's going but out of your way? It? Both yeah. of the apps are oh, right wow. there on but your you screen. Had to get there to realize that. But Netflix is like Apple. 
Yeah. Mm. Is like this is the end. Of, you ask. Wow, like, you saying that is like. It just works. Like, you know, it just, really does. Yeah, work. that baffles listen, me. Though. Him though. Saying. Listen, you ask any elderly person about streaming services. They're gonna say the Netflix. Thing, they're gonna say Netflix. Yeah. Of course. They're gonna be like, what the fuck is a Hulu? What's a Hulu? And Hulu is just as big. Yeah. Because they've they've put their they made their mark. They've put their feet in the ground and said, we're here. How so, many people to this day don't know Amazon? Has a streaming services exactly. and it's not just packages. And they give that away. It's all not just you. it's not yeah. just Prime at yeah. your door. You know, a lot yeah. of people don't use their video service. They right. don't know I they forget. have like exclusive. I shows. forget that I have. They don't know they're making an exclusive and Lord of the Rings TV the show. The only reason I have Prime is because I buy off Amazon yeah. and I get free shipping. But, but I forget that I have streaming. But listen, go out of my way to you stream. mentioned. Uh, no, you're right. Netflix has these original shows that sells their platform, right? Mm -hmm. What if HBO has the same? Like this one that I'm about to mention right now. The spin-off for Game of Thrones confirmed to be called The Longest Night. The Longer... Anyways, The Longest Night. George R. R. Martin broke it down a little bit. It's going to be taking thousands of years before the events of Game of Thrones. He said it's going to be not seven. There's going to be hundreds of kingdoms. And we're going to see a lot of uh, um, classic families, right? Like people that we grew to... Uh, attached to people like the Starks and Die Wolves. So and they're like, just taking they're taking the MCU's the lead. Horse. Yeah, they're, they're just, just taking it way to a prequel, bro. Like, you, wait, but you you'd be you surprised, bro. Kind of, listen, they I got know, a base. You were never a Game of Thrones fan. I know fan. people are going and to that's flock what it is. with it. I know that people are going to flock to it. So that's all it is. I, I would, did you watch Game of Thrones? No, but I know it, it's huge and I people are gonna jump all over it. Yeah, people will pay for this if it's quality though, because the quality always shines. The cream is always going to rise to the top. So, yeah, you're going to get this instant base. There's going to be millions of people that are going to instantly come and peep season one, episode that, one. That you need to hold them. You need to be able to hold them. Look at, look at Fear. Fear is struggling. Fear. Of the yeah, Walking Dead. And okay. that was one of the biggest fan bases before. Yeah, but that's not a spinoff. That's just that everyone's it, it dead and they're still it trying to keep it running. Oh, wait, really? It's yeah. A the Walking Dead. They spin and let me give, let me give you yeah, even... It off before the show Bro, happened. I'm sick of these spin-offs, these reboots. Yo, original content, y'all. Yo, Creators. Yo, yo I create. Got, I got a pitch for you, bro. I got a second spin-off for The Walking Dead right now, bro. You want it? I don't care because it's happening. AMC <laughs> greenlit a second spin-off Bro, they are Walking shameless Dead. with these reboots and spin-offs. Yeah. And not only that, but Clep. Walking Dead just ended in the comics. Yeah. They killed the main character. They killed the main character who's supposed to be getting a movie. Yeah. Like, how spoilers. is this going to affect everything? Spoilers. Well, people know. I mean, it's, it's in well, the comics. It's, it's in the comics, the yeah. It's, it's in the comic. They they killed Rick Grimes, which is the only reason most people watch. And and then out of nowhere, they were like, oh, tomorrow's t issue is the last one. Yeah. <laughs> what? <Dude. laughs> it's like clearly like cash grab. Like, no one is no like shit. thinking about new, exciting ideas. And it's like... Let's just create something off of this thing. It's like I feel like I'm in the '70s. What where, else can you know, we spin Archie off? Parker introduce himself to the to the Jeffersons, and you know all, all these. Oh my like, god! Like mad spin off. Yo, let me give you the premise for this one before you write it off. All right, this is gonna center about around two sisters, very young in age. They're gonna focus on the new generation growing up in this Walking Dead so world. So the sequel. Well, it's kind of like. Think about Carl, you know, he was a child when he when this all started. Mm. It's going to focus on that kind of on very young actors living in this new ruthless world that is The Walking Dead. Yeah. Will you want to watch that? No. No. Cuz that episode was on last week. Yo, know, that that's that it, we have seen that many the, times yeah, honestly. That episode was uh definitely last week. I'm not I'm not watching anything new. New ideas. Yeah. I'm new watching, ideas. I don't, I don't give a damn who you put in that show. You put Drake in that show. I ain't watching that shit. Aubrey? Oh, uh, you put Aubrey in and I'm watching it, bro. You're watching nah. it? Yo, imagine nah. Aubrey Game of Thrones nah. cameo. Cameo. He just with the sword and shit. I'm straight. That should be epic. Nah, I'm good. What if he's like a zombie? Maybe the it? only way the only way I'd probably watch one episode is if Kevin Smith directed it. Okay. Fair enough. What if I tell you he's the showrunner? That's only for the music. What if I tell you he's the showrunner? That's only for Zombie J. What if he's the <laughs> showrunner? Would you watch it? The showrunner? Yeah, it's a show. Oh. Maybe I'll give him two or three episodes. Oh, damn. Would two you watch three. it two if or he's three. the showrunner? 
Yeah, I'll always get Kevin. <laughs> Bro, I went and watched yeah. fucking. Uh, yo, we ride Yoga hard. Hosers. We saw Yoga Hosers. Yo, we ride That's, hard. If anyone ever, we yo, went, and we went in as diehard fans. If yeah. anyone ever asked me if I'm gonna go see something Kevin Smith, I'm like, I went and saw Yoga Hosers. I went to the fucking premiere. We were there, and, second row. And walked premiere. Out, and walked out of there with a clear perspective and gave it a shot. Yes, <laughs> like trying for it to win. Like we're like, yeah, but it had these moments. <laughs> like it wasn't for us. It was for oh, the kids. Was, yeah. Bro. Yo, oh, no. Smith. We love you, man. Yo, he's an icon. Yeah. Yeah, Fellas, we, we definitely went in there champion that one. Fellas, <laughs> that's all Migs has this week. But if you guys want to pitch in a little something more for the critics out there, I would love to hear it. I mean. Could be Walking Dead. Nah, man. <laughs> Could be streaming service. Nah, man. We're going to sign off. Be on the lookout for that critic streaming service coming in 2021. With original shit. <laughs> or we might just spin off a bunch of shit, because we'll why we'll not? We'll just spin off critic stuff. No, we're literally just going <laughs> to reboot everything that's ever been made. No, we're going to reboot everything we've ever done. Yeah. Every, we're, everything's getting rebooted. We're going with a younger cast. Even the stuff that, like, sucked is getting rebooted. We're going to recast Wade, yeah. Wade and myself. Yeah. Younger, like, younger version. What was the... Um, what, we, I will be played by, like, someone of another age, just because it's... Like what was the movie that yeah. Franco just redid over? What was the original one called? Franco. You know the one that he like the shitty movie that he was like it was like. A, oh, the the, 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 oh, the, artist. the, the artist. disaster artist. The disaster yeah. artist. We're rebooting that. Yeah, we're, we're rebooting that. We're doing the room, but we'll yeah, 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 yeah. We're rebooting the room. Club, you want to leave him with a little something? As always, Critics Talk, guys, and we want to make sure that you guys wake up, be passionate, create, and repeat. Critics Talk. We out.